the movie's story opens with Barry Allen, better known by his superhero name, The Flash, a member of the Justice League. His mother, Nora, was murdered, and his father, Henry, was arrested for a crime he didn't commit. Barry was determined to prove his father's innocence. Already running late for work, Barry received a call about a robbery gone wrong in Gotham City. Using his super speed, he helped protect the city's people from a sinkhole, while Batman chased down the terrorists. After assisting Batman, he immediately went to work and was reprimanded again for being late. After work, Barry and his friends saw their boss talking to reporters outside the research center. Upset by what he heard, Barry walked away, not realizing that one of the reporters had noticed him. The reporter called his name, and Barry realized she was a woman named Iris West, whom he went to school with. The two of them walked together, catching up. Barry learned that Iris knew about his father's arrest and that she was working on a paper about it. Barry defended his father, insisting he didn't kill his mother. Upset, Barry walked away from Iris. Returning to his apartment, Barry found a package in front of his door. He checked the package and called his father in prison. While talking about proving his father's innocence, Henry told Barry that it was fine and that he preferred to stay in prison rather than be reminded that his wife was gone. Barry then went back to their old home and remembered the events leading to his mother's death. They were a happy family until Barry heard his mother screaming. When he checked, he saw his father beside his mother, who had been stabbed. That was the day Barry lost his mother, and his father was arrested for a crime he didn't commit. Overcome by his emotions, Barry accidentally opened and entered a portal that could bring one back to a certain event in the past. Realizing what had happened, Barry decided to tell Bruce about it, but disregarded Bruce's warnings about the dangers of being able to run at the speed of light. Iris visited Barry at his apartment, where they engaged in a deep conversation. Barry showed Iris footage of his father in the store, buying tomatoes his mother had requested. It was then that Barry had an epiphany. He realized that if he could travel back in time using the speed force, he might be able to alter his mother's fate, saving her from being murdered and preventing his father's wrongful arrest. Driven by determination, Barry hastily left his apartment, leaving Iris behind. Harnessing his speed and the force of his abilities, Barry traveled back to the moment his mother was supposed to buy groceries. Nora had forgotten to buy tomatoes, which led her to ask Henry to get them. It was during this errand that Nora was attacked. Barry aimed to prevent his father from leaving the house. Upon reaching the past, he discreetly placed a can of tomatoes in his mother's shopping basket and promptly excited the timeline. As he traveled through time, Barry glimpsed visions of his mother alive but his journey was abruptly interrupted when someone punched him out of the speed force. Barry found himself in an alternative version of 2013 where his mother was still alive. It was the same day he initially acquired his powers. Changing his clothes, Barry entered his house, overwhelmed with joy to see his mother alive. To avoid altering the timeline further, he decided to leave only to encounter his past self. Attempting to conceal his identity, Barry covered his face, but the Barry from 2013 managed to unveil him, and in shock, fainted upon seeing their identical appearances. With the 2013 Barry awoke, our Barry explained the entire situation and demonstrated his powers. As rain began to fall, our Barry inquired about the date to maintain clarity. For simplicity, we will refer to the Barry from 2013 as Barry 2013. Barry answered that it was September 29th, the very day he originally acquired his powers. Realizing the importance of this day, Barry panicked, understanding that if 2013 Barry didn't receive his powers as he should, there was a real risk that present-day Barry might lose his powers as well. They proceeded to the research center and sneaked inside. When 2013 Barry learned that his acquisition of powers involved being electrocuted, he tried to leave but Barry coerced him to stay. Suddenly, lightning struck them both. Dizzy from the strike, 2013 Barry was carried out by Barry, who then discovered that he had lost his powers. Returning to his room with 2013 Barry, who became overly excited upon discovering his new abilities, Barry watched as 2013 Barry ran out using his super speed. However, not yet accustomed to his powers, in 2013 Barry lost control and caused an accident in the middle of the road, then returned home naked. Barry attempted to converse with him but in 2013 Barry was too preoccupied with his newfound abilities to listen. The following day, they visited the park, where Barry allowed 2013 Barry to borrow his ring, which contained his suit. Activating the ring in 2013 Barry donned the suit using his super speed. Soon after, they noticed other people panicking over something and decided to investigate. He firmly told 2013 Barry about the gravity of their situation and the importance of focusing on their mission to stop Zod and potentially save the world. Realizing the urgency, in 2013 Barry calmed down and started taking things more seriously. 
Together, they found a record of an unidentified object that had crashed in Kansas approximately 33 years ago, which Barry deduced must be Cal L's spacecraft. The two Barrys then set out to find this mysterious Cal L, believing he could be the key to defeating Zod. Traveling to Kansas, they located the farm where Clark Kent, also known as Cal L or Superman, was raised. They explained the situation to Clark, telling him about the threat Zod posed to Earth and how they needed his help. Clark was initially hesitant, having lived a life away from the spotlight and not fully understanding his powers or origin. However, he was moved by their plea and agreed to help, inspired by their determination and the chance to make a positive impact. But Bruce insisted there must be another way to restore Barry's powers. While he brainstormed, Kara, still adjusting to her new environment and powers, offered to help, suggesting that her Kryptonian biology might interact differently with the Speed Force, providing a clue to Barry's predicament. Together, they devised a plan that involved Kara using her abilities to create a controlled environment that could replicate the conditions under which Barry originally gained his powers. This time, they would use the Speed Force energy directly, with Kara's help to stabilize the process. The experiment was risky, but Barry was willing to take the chance if it meant regaining his abilities and stopping Zot. With everything set, Kara unleashed a concentrated burst of her heat vision, simulating the lightning strike, while Bruce manipulated the chemicals to mirror the original accident. As the energy surged around him, Barry felt the familiar rush of the speed force filling in, restoring his powers. The process was a success. Re-energized and with his speed restored, Barry embraced his friends in gratitude. With his abilities back, he was more determined than ever to confront Sod and protect the Earth. Kara, feeling responsible for the safety of her new home and eager to find her cousin kal -El, joined the team. Together, they formed a plan to locate Superman and gather the forces needed to confront Sod's threat head-on. As they prepared, the dynamic between the team grew stronger. 2013 Barry, now more experienced in understanding the weight of his powers, worked closely with Barry, learning from him. Kara, adapting to her role as Super Drill, found a sense of belonging and purpose with this new group of allies. Bruce, inspired by the courage and determination of these younger heroes, rededicated himself to the fight for justice. With the team united, they set out to face Zod, armed with their combined strengths and a renewed sense of hope. The battle that awaited them would be formidable, but together, they were ready to defend the Earth and ensure its safety against any threat. The alliance of these heroes marked a new chapter in their lives, forging a legacy that would inspire generations to come. In the end, their combined efforts led to Zod's defeat. The experience solidified the bond between the two berries and marked the beginning of Clark's journey as Superman. Bruce Wayne, witnessing their courage and selflessness, reconsidered his retirement from crime fighting, inspired by the new generation of heroes. As they parted ways, Barry returned 2013 Barry to his timeline, ensuring that the events they experienced would not adversely affect the future. Barry returned to his own timeline as well, his powers restored through the experience and with a new sense of purpose, knowing that the future was in good hands with heroes like Clark ready to defend it. Reflecting on his journey, Barry realized the importance of every choice and the ripple effects they can have on the future. He was grateful for the lessons learned and the friendships forged, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead with renewed determination and hope. This twist-filled conclusion ties together themes of sacrifice, the burden of power, and the acceptance of fate, all while offering a satisfying resolution to the arcs of its characters. Barry's journey through grief, guilt, and the quest for redemption is marked by his realization that some things, despite his extraordinary abilities, are beyond his control. This acceptance does not come easily but is a testament to his growth as a hero and an individual. The narrative's climax, where Barry chooses to accept the loss of his mother and the inevitability of certain events, speaks to a deeper understanding of the responsibilities that come with great power. The appearance of a future, darker version of 2013 Barry, driven by an insatiable desire to correct the past at any cost, serves as a stark warning of the potential consequences of unchecked power and the obsession with altering fate. This encounter ultimately reinforces the narrative's message about the importance of acceptance and moving forward. The poignant moment when Barry decides to replace the can of tomatoes, symbolizing his acceptance of his mother's fate while still taking a small action to clear his father's name, underscores the complexity of Barry's character. His ability to find a middle ground between changing the past and accepting it highlights his growth. The resolution with Henry Allen's exoneration brings a sense of closure to Barry's personal quest, while the unexpected change in Bruce Wayne's appearance hints at the far-reaching effects of even the smallest alterations to the timeline. This change serves as a reminder of the interconnectedness of the universe and the unforeseen consequences actions can have. 
In the post credit scene, Barry sharing his experiences with Arthur Curry opens the door to further adventures, suggesting that while one chapter ends, another begins. This scene not only provides a moment of levity but also hints at the expansive nature of the universe Barry inhabits, filled with other heroes, each with their own stories and battles.